Jude Sandy, and I am the director of August Wilson's Radio Golf. My name is Tanya Jackson, and I came here from Atlanta, the A, um, to play the character of Mame Wilkes. Hello, my name is Joe Wilson Jr., and I am playing the character of Harmon Wilkes. Radio Golf is the story of an upper middle class Pittsburgh couple uh, by the name of Harmon and Mame. They are uh, very successful professionals uh, living in Pittsburgh in the 90s. They are on the verge of making a big leap in their economic fortunes and political participation. Uh, Harmon is about to run for mayor at the same time that he is uh, spearheading a big development that's going to bring urban renewal to the neighborhood called the Hill District where he grew up and uh, basically the story uh, is about what our success costs us. He discovers that uh, one of the houses that he bought uh, by not exactly um, perfect means is owned by someone in the community who is now at the threat of losing their home in the face of gentrification. And so the question for him becomes, should he continue to pursue his success, both his financial and his political success, or should he make the difficult choice and return the house to its original owner? Harmond Wilkes is uh, an educated, successful, a business owner in Pittsburgh who uh, basically has taken over his family business called Wilkes Realty Company. And uh, he is married to a woman named Maine. And um, she's in PR uh, and events planning and I uh, am in the real estate business. Uh, in the context of the play, um, I am not only about to enter a new venture for a multi-million dollar redevelopment project in my old neighborhood in Pittsburgh, um, but I'm going to also announce that I'm running for mayor. Mame is the wife of Harmon Wilkes, who is running for mayor. Um, they're, they're trying to get this whole development to happen. We call it development. You know, when this blight sort of happens, which ends up a lot of times turning into gentrification. Mm -hmm. That's not what we feel like we're doing. We feel like we're building up the community. So right now, I'll say that I act as, I'm his wife, but I act as his manager, press person, all of that. Because me and Roosevelt have sort of hitched ourselves to him in order to get our agenda pushed forward. He becomes a mayor, I work for the governor, Roosevelt gets what he needs to get, and then we're all happily ever after. But it doesn't happen that way, no spoiler alert. You got to see it. I think the character has uh, a few conflicts. Um, you know, I come from a family of privilege. And I think with that privilege comes um, a certain amount of uh, not having had the opportunity to really forge my own path or follow my own instincts, but to basically operate under a guideline or a framework that has been put in place by my father and his father. And I think there's also a bigger challenge of when you're trying to be your own man and you are coming from systems of privilege and so forth. I think uh, we get to a point in our lives, I hope we get to a point in our lives when we want to find a way to really connect to our values and connect to operating not based upon a plan that was laid out for us, but based upon, but operate out of a system of values that are things that we come to know about ourselves and our own truth. I think that, I mean, she has, she's multifaceted. And me as an artist, as an actor, I like to play multiple things because I just believe, um, well I know as a woman myself, that we are extremely complicated. So I'll say some of the main things that she may be um, having some issues with is being from the hill 
and not wanting to go back. That whole thing is when we come from somewhere, wanting to be uh, successful, right? Whatever that means to the individual person. So I think she's driven by that. Coming from that always all over her life. When I think about the backstory that I've created, I'm gonna make it out of the hill. I'm gonna go to the school. I'm gonna follow a plan. I'm gonna do this and it's gonna be all good. Th this is, and her conflict is, every time I think that we as people, when we try to do that, there's always something subconscious thinking that something's gonna fall or the ball's gonna drop. And also as a black woman, having to work that much harder, having to do that extra thing just to be, I don't know, quote unquote, equal. You know, some people may, you know, not have to do all that stuff, but as a black woman, we always have to do a whole bunch of stuff just to get one thing done. As a director, your job is sort of to fall in love with every single one of the characters. So it's impossible for me to, to choose a favorite. I'm in love with, with Maine's loyalty, uh, her loyalty to her husband. At the same time, she's a very, very independent person. So she has to negotiate her independence and her loyalty when her husband makes the decision to follow a path that she can't follow with him. I'm in love with Harmon's desire to do good, that his intentions are pure, and then he has to make a decision about how his actions follow his intentions. And so he has a real moral dilemma that he has to solve. I'm in love with Roosevelt's ambition and his belief that if you work hard enough, then you can get anywhere. I'm in love with Old Joe's spirit and his love of memory, the way that he holds the memory of the community with him wherever he goes. And I'm in love with Sterling and the way that he really believes in community and he believes in community action. Sterling discovers his own power in the play when he decides to lead a protest. And that power is found when he decides to do good on the behalf of someone else. So that kind of selflessness is something that I find also really admirable. I think what we've all been finding most exciting about this play is the incredible attention with which August Wilson creates these characters and guides us through the central conflict of the play of whether or not we should pursue success or whether we should be faithful to our communities. The language is incredible. It's so beautiful. There are moments of just exquisite poetry in the play. And every one of the characters that are in of the five characters in the play get to um, have at least one moment of really wonderful poetry where they bear their souls and they really um, share their humanity with the audience. I think what's revealed to Harmon is that strength takes many forms. Um, I think that uh, in Harmon's world, money is strength, power is strength. And I think that he has to identify different ways of being strong. You know, I think Maine helps him to do that. His relationship with his wife helps him to, to find that strength, but also that side that can listen and be aware and be changed by the world around them. So um, I think Harmon is surprised by his, I think I'm surprised by my ability to change. Uh, I think I'm probably surprised by the decisions that I choose to make that aren't based upon what is to lose, but thinking about a bigger picture of what there is to gain. I think that she always knew who she was, but then based on some of Harmon's actions, things start to change. And then she has to go back and question 
okay, how much am I going to give to my husband in his dream? And how much am I going to give to my dream? Giving up some of those things that I wanted to do, putting it on the back burner to make sure that he's okay. I think there comes a point where she realizes herself, you know, self-preservation. Mm -hmm. She has to figure out how to, you know, live inside her dream and let him live in his dream. I think identity and masculinity are, are themes that run through all of August's work. Certainly we see, we meet these four men who are in four different stations of life in the play, and they all have separate concerns, but they all deal with what does it mean to be a full man, uh, a successful man. I think success is a huge um, theme in the play, what success costs us, what we lose uh, when we chase after certain symbols of success, um, the kind of success that we've been taught in our culture to chase after. Capitalism is a huge theme as well because we see characters who are trying to play by the rules of capitalism and not all of them are winning. And um, themes like fidelity are big in the play as well. Harmon, the central character, who is very faithful in his relationship to his wife, has to decide whether or not he's faithful to his values, whether he's faithful to um, the spirit of American capitalism, or whether he's faithful to the community that has already been ravaged. Um, in the late 20th century by certain aspects of capitalism. And uh, lastly, I think a big theme of the play is what does it mean to do the right thing? I think everyone in this play, each of the five characters, they all have their own specific ideas of what's right. And they all fight for their idea of what's right um, uh, really passionately. And we as the audience have to decide what we believe the right thing in this conflict is. We usually rehearse for four weeks with one day off a week, Mondays. So we will rehearse from Tuesday to Sunday. So we rehearse for four weeks. At the end of the fourth week, we began putting, uh, we move into the space, the theater, and then we put lights and costumes on the show and a set, um, and we do that for about 48 hours over a weekend. Then the five, that fifth week we began having invited dress rehearsals, people coming in to see the shows, and then we go into a period called preview period. In a preview period, we have shows at night, but we still have rehearsal during the day. And that all leads up to opening night, and once we open, there's usually press day of the opening night, official opening night, and then after the show officially opens, uh, then my job is just to do the show, uh, to show up a half an hour before my call time or whatever amount of my time I need to prepare for that show, to show up and come and do the show. But again, my days are, are I'm doing other gigs or my days are, are resting up for the show that I have to do. So it's usually an eight week process between four weeks of rehearsal and then four weeks of performance. I hope that when you come to see this show, that you are left feeling full with the spirit of African American culture, that you feel like you've gotten to know these people much, much better, but that also you've seen yourself.